Hey guys, I'm live, I'm live. Live, I'm live. I'm getting glue off of my little mat here. Let me know you're here. Just say hey, hey. Just say hey, hey. I'm a little crooked, aren't I? Hmm. That might be a little better. I don't know. Y'all can see my big old Dollar Tree stash mess over there behind me. Because you know what? It That Dollar Tree stuff, it takes up some room, y'all. And I've finally got enough stash to where I can make stuff and not have to go back to Dollar Tree. Except for a few things, right? Like anything they come up with new. No. Or anything they come up that seasonal and too cute to even stand. Yeah, those are the things I have to go get. Okay, so I'm waiting for somebody to say they're here. Just say, hey, hey. I got my little hat on for Orange Beach. I got my shirt on for Noonan, Georgia. Sorry about that. That's a little bit more ta-ta than you probably wanted to see. And, y'all. Oh, hey, Nyoka. My little Real Housewives cup. I, I can't I can't really say what's in it, but um, hmm. it's in it. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Did you see my cup, Teresa? Right here. There you go. Ninja Mim just brought me a surprise. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Your own grandchild uh, duty. I know. And I'll be done in a little bit. All right, sweetie. Thank you. I can paint over them. It's okay. Y'all, uh, yes, Teresa, you need one. They've got the taller ones at the store. I think it's next to Bold Soul, but I'm not sure. But anyway, to be honest, it's just a Diet Coke. But my kids get really um, excited when they find out I'm drinking straight up poison. So I usually don't say what's in my, in my glass, in my cup. I have to hide it. You know, you know. All right, y'all, today we're doing a three-tiered tray thing, all right? We're going to start with this one, and yes, that is a vase in the middle, okay? Um, so if you're coming in, say, hey, let me know you're here. Ninja Man just went out there and took the feet off of this one, and he took the feet off of this one. Oops, there we go. And we're going to go down to the table now, and I shall show you. All right, all right. Oh, poop. There we go. Hey, Hopper. Hey, hey. Okay, so, y'all, we're making this. Um, It's a three-tiered tray. Oops. Right here. Here, here. Here you go. And the top, the, the bottom one is, like, I think about 12 inches. And then we're about 8 inches. Ninja Man just took that off. I got to repaint it. And then we're, no, 10 inches, then 8 inches. Okay, about. Now, the story behind these trays, as I, as I get ready to paint their, their little wounds, because, yes, it's metal. Oh, hey, Debbie, I hope you're doing good today. It's metal. They, had, they each had these feet on them, like this. And... I've got one in my in my guest bath over here. Well, the studio bath. It's the guest bathroom and my studio bathroom. And it's got a lamp, a little lamp on it. And then it's got um, a faith statement on it and other things. So it's really pretty, y'all. Um, and a little plant. Not a live plant because y'all, y'all, mm -mm, no. I can't be, I can't be dealing with anything live besides my grandkids. I can keep them alive. And I kept my kids alive, but, you know, that's the best I can do. So, okay, I'm just going to touch it up. It's not a big deal. But I'm going to tell you all about these trays. They are from Hobby Lobby. Oh, dear. Nope, that's okay. They're from Hobby Lobby, okay? And I went to Hobby Lobby. Y'all, these have been on my list, on my personal wish list, long before I started doing Kathy Bowe's Crafting Show. And... They, they're they expensive, y'all. Um, but here's the thing. I went to Hobby Lobby. Ooh, that just washes right off, y'all. He he ran out in the shed. He had to um he had to go sit with our brother-in-law early today because our brother-in-law he has dementia, y'all, and it breaks our heart. But um he can't be left alone. And so 
Ninja Man went and sat with him, and I've had the grand girls all morning, so he ran, literally got home and ran straight to the shop with these and cut the feet off so I could show y'all how to do it. Okay? But they are not cheap. I want to say this size here, the the 12 inch, was probably um, $12.99. And this glass here, it's like a vase, okay? And I just used my E6000 right here. Oops, that way. E6000. Don't even try other glues, y'all. It's just not going to work. It needs to set up overnight, and it's really just uh, set up today. Um, so these things, I went to Hobby Lobby, and I was just, just going to get one because they were like 12 something each, I think, or 14 .99. I don't even know. They were, they were more than I would normally spend because, y'all, I'm 62. I set up household in 1976. I don't need a bunch of stuff. I don't. And when I do buy stuff, it's usually, I kid you not, it's secondhand. I would rather have a second, my, my desk that I can see from over here in my studio, it's a big, like an office desk, and it's where I do all my office stuff and my writing my columns. Um, it was secondhand because I'm not paying the $520 that it cost at, um, not Pier 1, but that other home, oh, Home Goods, Home Goods. And it was a very expensive desk there. And I'm like, no, I wanted it, but I didn't, mm -mm, no. So I'm going to show y'all, let me see. First of all, I want y'all to see some things. Um, the chandelier that we made turned out absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Um, Nyoka, I do too, and I'm trying to purge some of it. This um, Ninja Man ordered the lights that... Um, I'm sorry, it's really loud. I know, because he's loading the dishwasher, and I cannot complain about that. Not going to complain at all. He's watching kids and loading the dishwasher. Um, so this is the, um, it's kind of an angle, but anyway, that shelf to the right, that's the shelf over the tub that I was trying to clean when it almost murdered me, y'all. And I had to have, um, I had to have surgery on, on my rotator cuff. Okay, so we're back here. Um, thank you, Nyoka. I couldn't believe how beautiful that thing turned out. Now, the flowers, I did have to go back to um, to Hobby Lobby. 50% off, y'all. Oh, I, I won't finish telling you about these. So they're expensive. I didn't buy them all. I bought one. It was on sale half price, y'all. This is back in March, February, maybe. And I was like, oh my goodness. They didn't have these other two sizes. I went online. There they were, also half price. And I want to say it was free shipping. I'm not sure, but I, I just add to cart, add to cart, boom, boom. And here they come. So now I've got all the pieces. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Now this is called a tiered tray, all right? And what you're wanting to do is you want a vase in the middle, and then you're going to put... I'll see if I can make it where y'all can really see this well. Oh, I see the problem right here. Hold on. All right, you're see how you've got you've got this bottom tray, and then believe it or not, this one's a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start with this bottom tray, and just because I messed it up a little bit, I'm gonna just put some more glue on there. Or am I? Yep, I am. And like I said, this needs to sit overnight, y'all. I mean, don't get crazy. I did find the center. I just took a um, measuring tape like this, and I found the center. I marked it, and I put my vase right in the center. Okay. Um, E6000 is, one day we'll have glue school probably over at, um, on a Tuesday night when I do my Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, but we mistakenly got white, which is fine, but you're going to want to look at the package and get clear. Most likely you're going to want clear. The white dries clear, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yet. Okay. So I just want to give y'all an idea of how I'm going to style it and why I wanted it. 
The reason I wanted this three-tiered tray is because I prefer things that I can decorate without buying a bunch of stuff. You know, I want it to look cute. I'm, I'm not into antiques or, well, I mean, I would be if I had, I guess if I had the house or whatever, but I'd also probably paint stuff. I've had antiques and I did not enjoy them as much as things I bought secondhand because I didn't want to mess anything up, you know, and I've got a, I've got a china cabinet in, in my home now that is definitely an antique. Like I played in the bottom, uh, the cabinet doors in the bottom when I was just a baby. Um, or maybe that's where they kept me. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> but anyway, my, um, my mom was ready to discard it, and my mother-in-law saw it on her porch, asked could she have it. Mom says, yes, it needs refinishing, and some of the uh, glass in the doors are broken up in the top of it. Mother-in-law takes the pieces, turned it back into a beautiful, um, what's his name? It's got some name. She turned it into a beautiful piece of furniture again, replaced the glasses, and gave it to me later like when she, when she, uh, dismantled her household, so to speak. Yeah. So it's very special to me, but guess who wants to paint it? Me. Guess who's going to paint it? Me. I've asked my kids, do they want it? No, they don't. This generation doesn't give diddly squat about stuff like that, y'all. So no. Um, so I enjoy taking something and styling it for, you know, different seasons or whatever. So I'm just going to show y'all what this could be. Like, I know it's not Easter now, but I want y'all to see what I had been planning to do with it. And I don't have time to remove all the tags, but I'm just going to show you um, some of the things. I've got my little, my little basket of goodies right here. Right here, y'all. Uh, look, oh, you see what's coming. You see what's in this cute. Hey, Heather. Hey, hey. And I've got some examples of these, um, of how these look when you, when you set them all up and everything. I've got some Pinterest pictures I'll show you. Okay, so we're just going to put that little, it's like a bow, okay? Let me see if I'm more in the center. There we go. Um, maybe put this guy here. Now, y'all, I am literally throwing this together, but I'm going to show you this and, you know, we're going to add to the top of it the next two stages, whatever. I've got a piece of muslin here, right here. I'll probably put that on the top, on the next layer. Um, I got some little blue, pretty blue, robin's egg blue, uh, napkins. We might use that on the very top. We are going to put, I love this thing right here. I just love these little beads. But I got two things drying over here on my table, y'all, so I can't get too crazy. Not too crazy. All right, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the burlap down. Hold on. I told y'all I hadn't done this yet, so I want y'all to see how it all comes together. If you're here and you're watching, please just, um... Y'all just let me know you're here. If you haven't said anything yet, I need to know you're here. Okay, answering questions. Aren't all antiques secondhand? Yes, yes they are. But I'm talking about, you know, like, and hey Hopper, I'm talking about um, like thrift store stuff, you know? Not like fine things that, you know, you don't really get to touch when you're a kid, but you do when you when you grow up. Grandma's like, Oh, yeah, you wanted that? You can have it. But you weren't allowed to touch it when you are a kid, you know? Okay. So we're just going to make... And Heather asked, where did you get those beads? I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. And um, they are in the Easter, Easter stuff. And I'm going to also style a tray with this one. So I've got this one. And this one. They were half-price Easter. And they are so stinking cute. 
Uh, Nyoka says, I got my beads, need to paint them. Yes. And Nyoka, look at Pinterest uh, for some good ideas. Because, I mean, you know, maybe you're going to paint them and they're going to be like, well, I kind of wanted bolder colors or pastel colors or something like that, right? Okay, y'all. Then there's these guys. Okay. These guys. Um, let me show you what I just ordered. First of all, um, Nyoka Antique is just a fancy name for second and third hand, right? Heather, thank you. Hobby Lobby on the agenda for today. Heather, if you find some, um, if they've got like a ton, I'll send you money. Get me two more for my trays, okay? These are just little mugs. They don't have handles. Y'all, these are so stinking cute, but they were like, dang, these things were easily $29, $30 for the four. And I'm like, no. So I did the Dollar Tree version, but y'all, I went on Amazon today and these are like $15 for the mugs, the mugs I just showed you. I ordered them. I did. I don't mind paying 15 for four of them, but I ain't paying 30. That was just, mm, mm But they're really cute. They're trendy. They're, you know, you can dress them up for different occasions. You put little hats on them. That's why their faces are so low. Um, but anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm just like putting a bunch of um, floral and stuff like that down in here. And then I'm probably just going to put my beads in here like this. Of course, tags are still on everything, okay? But that's all right. That's all right for right now. Okay. And this, y'all, it looks terrible from your point of view. I know. I know. Hold on. Let me let me do it this way. All right. So this is how, how it's coming along, okay? And you picture this on your table, all right? Now, I love to just be able to take this and change it up into another season, all right? So now I'm going back to the other screen and show y'all the next layer. All right, this is the next layer, okay? And I'll, I'll pull the whole thing out and show y'all that in a little bit, in just a little bit. I'm just going to use this um, muslin fabric, and I would iron it. I might even finish off the edges a little bit, but you know, you don't have to. You don't have to, all right? This is not glued on because, you know, it takes overnight and Ninja Man just brought it to me to, um, you know, to do, right? So we are gonna take this little bunny and I know Easter's over, I know but I want y'all to see what different things you can do with it. Um, there you go. There's the little Easter bunny, and he's he's on a little stand, okay? Just a little, like a little picture stand. And he's from the Dollar Tree. And he was in uh, three, he had three pieces. He had the bunny, and then he had Happy and Easter. Uh, right there. Okay, so he was held together with a uh, ribbon, and I just snipped the ribbon off the back, and here we go. All right, so now I'm going to put these little nests on. Heather, I never thought of using fabric on a tiered tray, but I love it. I love it too, and thank you, and I love it too because um, I can change it for the seasons, y'all have been wanting to use her so much. She is so cute. And her little boyfriend, hold on. She's got a boyfriend. Where did he go? Oh, my, my. Y'all, he got a little nervous at the altar, and he ran. And I'll find him as soon as I'm packing up. Oh, y'all, he has a little black hat. Poop, I don't see him. I, I'm telling you, I will find him as I pack up. I know I will. But there's his empty nest. He's just waiting. So, okay, we're going to put... Wait a minute, is that him? Nope, that's my glue gun. Oh, here he is. Y'all, he's over there at the 4th of July stuff. There he is, right there. He 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 might he might have had a little bit too much cabbage because he don't want to sit up. He, he needs a nap, y'all. He needs a nap. 
hold on, we're going to stick. But, you know, you could glue him in there, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Hold on. Make his nest. <laughs> y'all, he won't sit up. He's never been like this, y'all. Okay. You're going to get to see it face, face on, too. Um, Heather, those nests are so cute. Need Yes, got them also at Hobby Lobby, and I think they have some now. Nyoka, I bet a doily would be cute in the bottom. Cut a hole in the middle, put down around the vase. Yes, yes, that would be adorable. My uh, grandson, Asher, the first grandchild. You know, the first grandchild makes the names for everything, right? And he always said, adorable. And one day I said, you are just adorable. And he goes, I'm not adorable. I said, yes, you are. And he's like, how can you tell? Well, right there is how I can tell. I can tell it, boy. Adorable. All right, y'all. These are just little, little eggs. Um, Dollar Tree. Um, Mini decorative eggs. Oh, come on now. Right there. Mini decorative eggs. And they came in a little bag. They're probably gone now. But, y'all, they look so... They were just so well done. I had to get them, Okay. So I'll show you this head on so you can see it as if you're seeing it on, on the tray, okay? I'm sorry my tray's in pieces, but y'all, that's, that's just life today. All right, so here we started with this, all right? And yes, I will put another vase in the middle of this, and then we'll put on the smaller tray. But not today, because I don't want things to fall over and, you know, and y'all worry, am I going to be able to recover from such an event? <laughs> probably not. I'll probably just be like, no. Okay, let me get my little, um, my little stuff back together and we will, um, we'll go on with the, the next one. Now, the next one is a summer theme. And y'all, it's so cute. Now, let me tell you um, right now, people are doing things with lemons. Y'all, lemons are the thing. And I'm not trying to be trendy. Um, Nyoka, thank you. I like them too. And they're, again, they're from Hobby Lobby. I'm not such a follow the trend kind of girl. But y'all, when I see something I like, I like it. Okay. I like it a lot. And don't forget, if y'all are here and you haven't said anything, please say, hey, hey. So all you gotta do, just say hey. Doesn't cost a dime extra. Okay, so now we are going to look at the summertime theme that I got going. Um, but yeah, those little those little ceramic cups. Um, that don't have the the handles on them. Y'all, people are putting hats on them. And like I said, I don't go all for all these trends, but I'll tell you what. When it's stinking cute, it's stinking cute. I don't care who you are, right? Um, so like the Ray Dunn, I love Ray Dunn stuff. Um, Nyoka, yes, lemons are in, and I'm not really a lemon person. When you see them with the navy blue, me, the navy blue, you might be a lemon person, okay? You might just be a lemon person. Okay. So now we are just going with a summer theme. Okay. And we got our little beads, which maybe I'll maybe I'll move these around a little bit. I don't know. I just love them so much. And I'm kind of wondering, do I really want my my trays to be this color or do I want them white? If I want them white, Ninja Man's got a can of spray paint out there to make my day. Y'all, this was Dollar General, Fresh Flowers Market, and they had all different kinds, and it was $2. So, and I call this Dollar Tree Crafting because I usually, I usually incorporate the most of the things I make are Dollar Tree, okay? Most of the stuff I do... I get from the Dollar Tree. Now, I do want this tag off. That bothers me. Under penalty of law, just send me bail money and a shiv. That's all I need is bail money and a shiv. And I think I'm just going to leave the little handle on it, this little twine handle. 
Okay, and then the lemons. Hold on. Now, these lemons I bought from Hobby Lobby yesterday. For some reason, they were over there near the wedding stuff. Or No, no, no. You know what? They were near the wedding stuff, but that's also the... um the floral kind of department, okay? So we're just going to put us some lemons right there, all right? Oh, I can't wait to show you this part. Okay, and then, you know, I'll probably have some other stuff to put right here. Yes, Dollar General, Dollar General, girl. All right, now, y'all, we are, there we go. I'm going to do it this way because y'all can see it better like that. Okay, y'all, again, my little picture stand right here. And yeah, we're not stuck together, but it's okay. It's okay. But these little guys came, oops, came on a metal stick like this. It had, it had a little fork-like thing that went up here and you could stick them in your yard. Well, I put some of those Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. They're called tumbling. I'm sorry, y'all, these cameras, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. They're tumbling blocks. Now, this is the larger box and I've got a case on order but they're back ordered you can't find them anywhere right now um but yeah so I used that to make a stand on the back all I used is hot glue I had to put my stand at an angle so it would stand right so we've got the camper and we've got I have a truck I have a truck where's my truck y'all I have all this set up for y'all, and I don't even know where my truck is. Hold on, hold on. Is he down in here? I've even got Christmas, but I'm, I don't think I'm taking time with that today because things are missing, y'all. I know this truck is right here. It has to be. It's a cute little pickup truck. Y'all are probably saying it's right in front of you. It's right in front of you. Hold on. Okay, well, we don't have a truck right now, but there's a little truck that pulls this camper. Okay, or he looks like he does. And I put glue on the back of him with one of those things too. Okay, we also have this cute little thing. Again, Dollar General. It's $2. This one says, enjoy the ride. This one says, hello spring. Okay, and we can jazz it up with that. And don't forget fresh flowers. Okay, and all of that was Dollar General. And then Hobby Lobby for the lemons and the beads. Okay. And again, y'all, I could use my little um my little guys and put we got little I can make little hats for them. Well, my grand girls had the hats earlier, but I don't see them now. Um they wanted to make the hats. Here it's one. Okay, I just took an old wool sweater and I cut it up. And I bought wool from, I bought a wool sweater from the thrift store. And all you do is so cute, y'all. You use those ceramic cups and you put them on the little, these little things. Heather, Dollar General, <laughs> no, a shiv. <laughs> That's all I need. That's it. I, I need a shiv. I could use cake also. They don't give you cake in prison. Okay, but see, here we go. And this is the idea, y'all. And you can put a spring hat on them. That's why their little eyes are so far down. Like that. Okay? All right. So, y'all, I'm going to find that dang little truck. And I'm going to be so irked with me, with myself. Me with myself. Um, okay. So, you see the... Now, a lot of people are doing the lemons with navy blue. Navy blue. I'm going to try not to mess up this time. Okay. And I love the navy blue, and I did get some navy blue fabric, but I didn't have time to put all that together, you know. Okay. Um, I have a story, too, and I can't remember what it was. Okay, so now let's do, y'all, this is probably going to be my favorite, just because I've got it all figured out. I know what I want to do. I mean, I did the rest, the other two, but this one... It's just super special. Oh, goodness. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do the bottom tray. I've just got a big old... This is a... Um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, it's just a yard of fabric, y'all. Okay? A yard of fabric. 
Y'all say hey if you're in here and you hadn't said hey, hey. Just need to say hey, please. Okay, so we're going to put that like that, all right? And, y'all, this is so stinking cute. All right, I got this from, Do from Hobby Lobby. Oops, sorry. God bless America. And it was $3.99, which, you know, I'd rather it be a dollar, but it's okay. Nobody died. Nobody. Well, they could, but not because of this, okay? I'm, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a doctor. Okay. All right. So we got him and y'all this right here in the wedding section of the Dollar Tree, I got these little white metal buckets and I'm like, I'm the kind of girl that will use a little white metal bucket, but I have no clue how yet. So I took my little white, it's in the wedding department. You get two or four for a dollar. I'm not sure. Probably, probably two. And I glued a little ribbon right back here. And then I pulled it around and I made its bow and I had to glue that there too because, you know, it got a little uppity and it kept pulling its bow down. And I'm like, no, that's inappropriate behavior. You leave your bow where it goes. So I had to glue it on there. All right, so then I have this from the Dollar Tree and I and I bit a chunk at night. <laughs> I cut a chunk out, all right? Glued it down in here, all right? Hot glue, just stuck it down in there. And then I just stuck some of this, well, I think I put glue down again, and I stuck some of the um, um, moss down in here, okay, from the Dollar Tree. Now, let me tell you all about Dollar Tree moss. It's kind of gross. It, it does have a little smell to it, and it's just a little sticky. I'm sure it's organic. I'm sure it's, you know, from the rainforest. But, y'all, straight up China. But, anyway, okay, so... <laughs> It's so not organic, y'all. Okay. All right. So then I had these little flags that are, y'all, I've had these in my stash for so long. Is it funny? No, it's not even funny. But y'all, I made like, if you're, if you're at the parade and there's a bunch of flags and they give you this. Okay. So we are going to put that right here. Okay. And then... And then, and then, what we would have here, this is from, uh, I want to say Michael's. This was in their, their little bins before the cash registers. But I got these from that, those little bins at Michael's before the register. And I, it was one of those things. I'm like, I, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. But here's what I would do. I will put a message on here about the 4th of July, right? I got a bunch of these and they're chalkboard. And I took this little... Where's my little pen? It's a little chalk mark. Anyway, it's a little chalk marker. It's a, a paint pen is what it is. And I just went dot, 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 dot around it to make it a little fancy just for y'all. Okay, so I would put that here with a little message on it. And here we go. This is the little tray. Now, you could put a lot more. You could, well, I'm going to have this glued down so you can't really add anything inside there. But before you glue your tears together, you could um, you could put some clear marbles or something, whatever you want. But y'all, here's my little truck, and I know it's a little it's a little high up right there. Let me turn him. But you know, uh oh, see, you got you got to make them, you got to make it and then put it down. All right. Okay. So we got that part done. Okay. So now we are going back over here, and I'm gonna do. I'm going to do the next layer. Now, remember, y'all, I've got three tiers. So I'm going to keep going once I get these done. This little guy, he was at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Okay. He's supposed to hang, but I don't care. I'm going to tie a little raffia to, his, to the little screw right here on top. And I added one of those Jenga blocks so he would stand up for me. Okay. So he's going to stand. I like a gnome. I do like the gnomes, y'all. And then this is a picture frame. Hang on. Well, it's on there. But this is a picture frame from Dollar Tree. But anyway, the metal, the frame, and the clip right here. The metal, the frame, and the clip were on the frame. That's all there was. So then I took right there. I'm going to use a word that I don't like to use. 
Walmart. Y'all, I don't do Walmart. I don't do Walmart. But the situation called for Walmart yesterday because just, just schematics and time. We were next door to the Walmart when I was at the Hobby Lobby. And Ninja Man and I just looked at each other and he said, you know, let's just do it. And I'm like, okay, let's just do it. Heather, I tend to avoid the picture frame aisle at Dollar Tree, but now keep seeing cute crafts. Yes, I need to check it out next time I'm in there. Yes, you do. So I'm at Walmart and that's where I got this. It's really, it's really a, um, whatever I said it was earlier. And I just clipped a piece off of it, a garland. It's really a long garland. Okay. I just clipped a piece off and I made myself a wreath. All right. Then I, um, tied a little bow, put on some of these. Now, is this permanent? No, y'all. Because you know what? I want to use this. I want to use this for all occasions. I want to um, maybe put a little Easter greeting on it, a Christmas greeting. This is going to be on the trays at all times. Okay. So I can just nestle this down in there. And because nobody's going to be handling it like I'm handling it today. And y'all, it's a picture frame. It's got the back on it here. I'm just going to stand it up in here. Okay. Like this. And let me go to the right here. All right. So you see how cute we're getting. You see? Okay. And of course, you know, I can use my red check fabric. That's what I should have done first. Hold on. We're going to put on the red check because that's why I did it. That's why it's here. I got the blue and white on the bottom. I'm putting the red on the top. Of course, I'll do it prettier and better, y'all. But, you know, we're just, it's live TV. It's live TV. We get what we pay for, right? Okay, when that go that way. Okay. And then my little gnome. And y'all, I wanted all the gnomes. I wanted them all. So while I got you, let me see how many things are going to fall because we're not glued down. But y'all, here we go. This will be 4th of July stuff. Okay. Now, you know, it's going to be my little centerpiece. And um, we don't have any little kids in school, so I probably won't do a school theme one. But, I mean, we got kids in homeschool, you know, but they're not, they don't come and go from my house. So, you know, anyway, I don't need to do a school theme one, but I'm going to show y'all some other themes that just, that rock it. Okay. Um, now I showed y'all the chandelier I made. Um, I'm just skipping those pictures. Here's some other ideas. You get picture frames, you put in you know, you put in a solid, uh, color and then you get your, um, you get your vinyl lettering where that 17 is and you just put whatever vinyl lettering or picture or whatever. Now this is a wooden tiered tray and it's got the little beading around it. It's up to you what you want. Um, here's another one that I love. It makes me think of my friend Angela. Every time I see just elegant pink, beautiful anything, I think of Angela. So that tray that you just saw has been changed out to have like a springtime with pink roses, okay? All right, so then here we go with a different one all together. This one looks like enamel, and of course you want that black to, to show through. Now you can, you think they're that the trays are yellow. They're not. They're white with the little enamel black showing. But because they're using so much yellow and black, I mean, it just totally blends. But you can turn around and use pinks or, you know, the blues with the lemons or whatever. I mean, just gorgeous. Okay, so here we go with a smaller one. It's got the beads on it. It's got uh, the little picture frames. And they. it looks like they've decorated those picture frames however they wanted to. I like that one a lot. And it's only two tiers. You don't have to do three. All right, here's another one I really like. Now, this is, it, it's too much stuff on there for me. Um, but I like the Ray Dunn lettering. But like I said, I'm not paying Ray Dunn prices. I mean, you know, I know Ray wants me to. And probably Mr. Dunn does, but no. Mm -mm. Okay, I, I'll get them at the yard sales in a couple of years. 
Y'all, I love this because they put a banner. Y'all, I love banners so much. My friend Heather, who's on here now, sent me a banner from uh, Paper Pumpkin years ago. And it, and it says, bless. And I mean, that banner's hung in my house every single day since then. And I love where, how it says bloom. So, you know, definitely think about, think outside of the box. You know, these are all from Pinterest, by the way. All of these ideas are Pinterest. Here we go with my little, um, my little mugs. I love them. They're so stinking cute. And of course, you know, they do pair well with the Ray Dunn pieces. Um, you know, oh, and, and in case you missed it, those are the mugs I ordered today. They've been $30, and I think I got them for $15 on Amazon. And um, if you need to know where they are, I, I can send that to you. Just send me a message. Okay, here we go. This this is more my style with um, kind of like the, the uh, I hate to use the word farmhouse, but it is. It is what it is. Oh, hey, Debbie. Thank you. Um, so this one popped up on Pinterest it, in the farmhouse look and I love it. I love the black and white and the gray and it, you know, it would go with any of your, of your trays. Okay, y'all, Thanksgiving. See, y'all, I've got, I've got everything I need for Thanksgiving right now. I've got all the little, the little decoration things and all that. What I don't have is a whole lot of, um, counter space. So, my triple tray, my three-tiered tray is going to fix all of that. I'll be able to do that and enjoy it so much. Last but not least is Christmas. And y'all, I went shopping in January <clears throat> of last year. I know, I know. And I bought a bunch of Christmas stuff. And um, I'll show you some of the things I got. I wanted to style the tray with them. And yes, this is a fabulous um, basket, y'all. It's by Reesenthal, R-E-I-N-S-E-N-T-H-E-L. Bought it when I was making a lot of money. And the handle folds down, blah, blah. I'm not trying to sell you my basket, but I didn't want y'all to ask and me not know what y'all were talking about. Okay, so I have this tool and it's kind of glittery, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in my tray. And when I went shopping in February of 2020, I know, I mean January, I bought these guys like super cheap, okay? The trees, the, these are kind of larger trees. These are smaller trees. Um, I got a few boxes of those because I'm also doing some crafting that uh, call for those. These little guys, you know, they're just things like, you know, these were like, this says $4.99. I mean, if I paid a dollar, I'd be surprised. They were like 90% off. Guess what I just found? My stinking truck. What'd I tell you? What did I tell y'all? Hold on now. Where's my... Where's my... Mm, hold on. Y'all got to see them together. Here we go. All right. The truck and the camper, y'all. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, so I put the I put the little the little blocks on them. Um, they call them Jenga, but they're not Jenga at the Dollar Tree. And they stand up like a little sign, and they go in the top of one of my little bins. They'll go in together. This one's too small, but they'll go in together. We used to be big time campers. We had a ridiculously large fifth wheel, and um. Absence makes the heart grow fonder because I kind of want to go camping again. But mm -mm, I, I, I want to drive up there and rent somebody else's camper. They do that, y'all. You can go to certain camping places and rent the camper, the stinking camper. Okay, so I got these little guys here. My grand girls, I gave them uh, the task this morning of um, stringing these for me. So this is one set. And the other set, <laughs> okay, it's just little trees, y'all, y'all, just little trees. <sighs> so what do y'all think? Um, glittery tool, yes, 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 I love it. And um, I'm quite certain this was Hobby Lobby, quite certain. And, you know, it's going to go well for black and whites or silver or Christmas, anything like that. Um, 
the little truck for summer is adorable. Yes, it is. And that was Dollar Tree. The truck and um, the truck and the camper are Dollar Tree. Better put them this way so they don't get confused. And they had they came on a yard stake, yard stake. You know, like a long white metal pole thing. And I mean, you just pull them out. You just pull them out. Okay. Nyoka says, "Cute. My son has a camper. Oh gosh, I, I'm missing the camping thing." But, you know, but y'all, when you see little things and you're like, I have no idea what, what I'll do with that. Y'all, this, I mean, this tear tray, to me, I cannot wait to put it together. And um, I kind of want to show you the one in my bathroom. I kind of do. I'm going to go get it, okay? Please hold. Please hold. Take me just a minute because it's so stinking cute, y'all. It's so cute. So cute. Now, if I fall and drop everything, y'all, just remember I did it for love. Okay. Now, this one is just one one of the trays. So apparently, I found two at Hobby Lobby that day. Okay. I want to tell y'all about all this. Okay. So this is the lamp that's on it. I gotta fix faith. There we go. All right. So this is the whole shebang. Okay. Heather, I need someone to go with me to Hobby Lobby today. I'm going to need some adult supervision. Oh, Heather, I will tell you about my trip. And um, I so needed adult super supervision. The fun of the tiered tray, you get to redecorate it each season. You do. I love it. And it doesn't take up any more space. Okay, y'all. What I want you to know is this. Okay. This little guy that keeps moving, because once you set them down, they're not going anywhere. This right here was a gold frame, all right, and it had a gold stand, okay. I just painted it. Um, I just painted it with chalk paint, okay. Y'all seen this chalk paint over and over, and, uh, and then I put the picture back in it, and it says... I am the light of the world, John 8, 12, okay? So I love that. I love that. I've had it forever. The lamp, I, I promise you I didn't spend much on it. This, y'all, with the little picture hanger on the back, it's a soap tray. This is a soap tray, y'all. I got so tired of, of everybody abusing my soap tray. It looked gross. It was, it was sticky. It was clumpy. And I just washed it really good. And I took that um, that glue that I told y'all about. Come on. The E6. E6 John, come get um, Mila, please. E6000. And, and I just tore that off the back of a picture frame. And y'all, this stands up. It thinks it's a real picture. All right. This Magnolia. Uh, my mother-in-law gave this to me ages ago because she knew I will kill every plant. Uh, let's see. Julie, the struggle is real. Isn't it? Isn't it? Nayoka, beautiful. Thank you. Love the magnolia. Our state flower. Yay. Okay. So y'all, there, there we go. And um, and I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I hope y'all learned a little something. A little something, something. Um, let me make sure I showed you all my pictures. I did. And don't forget to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, um, oh, my bug guy's on his way. How about that? Hmm, totally forgot he was coming today. And, um, yeah, so I'll have more stories for you next week because of what's going on. Okay, there's some stuff. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it's going on. All right. So thanks, guys, for hanging out. I love y'all and God bless and toodles.